Hi, um, today I'm going to show you how uh, to use Watson uh, conversation special feature called as slots and uh, some good practices on uh, how to use it, make best use of it. Uh, as you can see here, I'm logged into the Watson conversation tooling and uh, I have a very simple intent, uh, get balance uh, being one of them. Um, so I just have three intents. This is just to demonstrate uh, how to use slots. So I'm keeping it as simple as possible. Um, so the scenario is that uh, somebody wants to get, you want to build a bot that, uh, uh, that needs to gather some information before it can answer a question like, what is the, my account balance, right? It needs to get the account number. Um, so let's see how uh, you can use slots to do that and uh, also uh, some practices on uh, how to get around some of the issues with slots. I wouldn't say issues, uh, but how to make it uh, work for you. So let's take a look. So here, as you can see, I've created a node, a simple dialogue node. And uh, it is, uh, this particular gets triggered when it hits, when it sees the get underscore balance intent, right? So the question, what is my account balance will automatically get you to this particular uh, uh, dialogue node, right? So as you can see here, I have turned on slots uh, and I've also turned on multiple responses. I'll talk to you about that in a, in a minute. Uh, but for now, the way slots works is I've already turned it on. So when I have set in and I'm saying the way slots works is that it will prompt for uh, some details. Let's say you want to, if somebody says I want to get my account balance and then you want to say, oh, you need to give me your account number, right? So the way it works is, so it looks for uh, the entity called account number and uh, I have defined that entity as a, and this is another nice feature uh, in Watson, uh, uh, where I can define it as a pattern, where I've defined it as a four digit number, right? And I can define it in any different way uh, as needed. So that way it's not just a hard coded uh, synonym uh, values, but you can also define patterns. So let's go back. So I've defined it as a four digit uh, number. So now the way I'm expecting in the dialogue is that if somebody says I want to know my account balance, uh, my account number is a four digit number, then it automatically finds that value and then goes to the answer. But if it doesn't find it, then it prompts for this question saying what is your account number? Uh, and then once they provide the number, only then the answer is provided. Let's give it a try. So I'm going to take the uh, the good scenario first. So I'm just say uh, my account number is two, 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 two. What is my balance? Let's see if that works. So it automatically has found the number uh, account number, and then so it has it has. Uh, this has been satisfied, this condition has been satisfied and it skips to uh, this condition where it says your balance is blah, right? Uh, so now that's good. So what if I ask it in a different way, right? What if I say, what is my balance? And then it's going to, now it's going to prompt you, what is your account number, as you can see here, right? Because that condition has not been met. You have not provided the account number. So at this point, uh, I could say uh, 2222 or any any other four digit number, right? And then it automatically picks it up and then it gives me my balance. Now let's take a different scenario where you ask what is my account, what is my balance? And then it says, what is your account number? And you don't have it, right? So you say, uh, uh, or you say, uh, you're stuck, right? You're saying, uh, if you say something like, uh, I want my balance again, right? So it's stuck at that point. It's going in a loop and you don't know how to get out of it. So I have, uh, I, there's something called as manage handlers. So I, let me show you how we can use this capability to actually get out of this loop, right? So where let's say you don't have an account number. Right? And you want to say, there's a different question that you want to ask. 
uh, how do you get out of this? So, uh, so I've created a couple of handlers where one of them could be if somebody says, why do you need my account number? Then it, it answers the question by saying, I need it to be able to fetch your balance. Uh, what if I say, I don't have it, not available. I don't have my account number. Then what am I doing here, right? This is the trick that I'm using to get out of that infinite loop. So here is a, uh, you know, I don't have any response. As you can see here, uh, the output part is empty. Uh, but if I see this condition of not available, then what I'm doing is I am setting an account value here, account number value here to a negative one, right? So I'm setting it to some uh, non-standard value, right? Some unique way of, uh, uh, of capturing it, right? So now what happens is, so I've, okay, that's fine. So I'm, I'm now when I say, what is your account number? If I say, I don't have it, I don't know. Then what happens is it hits this condition where, uh, where it sees the, if you remember, I had set the value as negative one. So it comes to that, it skips it. So the value has been set by the handler so now it skips this part. So it goes here, handler sets a value of negative one. So now it comes back, there is a value. So it skips that. So now it comes here and when it says, oh, account number is negative one, then it says, okay, please get your account number and I can then help you. Now, the nice thing about this is that I am able to get past this without getting stuck at this particular uh, slot. So that, that is one cool way of going around uh, the issue. And you can define any number of handlers, so not available being one of them. You can even say, uh, oh, I don't want to answer it. I don't, I don't want it, right? And then you can define the intent accordingly here and then uh, provide a response there. Um, so that, that is one way of going around it. Now, uh, another thing I wanted to show you is, uh, a lot of people say, once I set the context of this account number, and the next time what happens is that, that if you set it and you don't reset it, it always keeps the new account number. Let's say the next time you change it to 5555, it won't pick it up here. It will still use the old 1111 or 2222, whatever that we used earlier, right? So you need to actually define it here to reset that value. And that's why I'm doing it through a context variable where I'm setting the account underscore num to this particular special value called null, right? Remember, note here that it's not within uh, single or single or double quotes here. So if there's a, a special value called null. So once the value is set to null, so once you exit out of here, the next time somebody asks, they come back and ask, uh, give me my balance, it will again prompt for your account number. So if I come back here and if I say again, uh, I want my balance, it will again ask for your account number, right? That value has been, as you can see here, the value has been reset to null, right? So uh, that's another uh, cool way. So then I hope this, this helps you uh, with how to handle and how to use slots. This is a quick video. I hope this was very helpful. Thank you.